And so today I'm going to go over two uh, websites you can use when you're creating a Google Slides or a PowerPoint. Um, the first one I want to go over is Slides Carnival. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, more or less what each website has, how to download them so that they can go into your Google Slides or you can download them as a PowerPoint. And I'll um, show you how you can edit it to fit your needs. So this first one is Slides Carnival and all the slides here are free. So in these two websites, all the slides are free for you to use. You just have to choose which one you want. So with Slides Carnival, you have all of these topics right here. And they even if you're looking for a particular color, you can go into the color schemes and then um, choose one based on what you're looking for. But they do have other um, topics that you can choose from if you're looking for something in particular. One of the ones I do want to show you that we can use, especially for um, our classrooms, is a Jeopardy presentation template. So if you've seen um, Jeopardy and, you've, and you want to play in class, they already have a pre-made template for you to use. So here it says go to preview and download. So here is where you can preview it. And again, you get to choose whether you want to download this as a PowerPoint template or as a Google Slides template. Personally, I have stopped using PowerPoint. Um, I am solely using Google Slides, but if you're still using PowerPoint, that's okay. You can definitely still use it. Um, so here you have the main page. It gives you instructions on how to edit it in both Google Slides and PowerPoint. And the good thing about this template is that everything is already linked. So basically, you, do, you don't have to do much of the work when it comes to linking what goes into these um, values as far as the questions go. You just have to go in. You have to edit the question. Um, you do have to edit the question. You can use these. Like I said, it's already pre-linked. So it tells you, like, can, are you ready to go back to the panel? If so, yes. You do have to edit the category title. So you are going to have to edit some of the things like in each of these, you will have to edit the question based on what you are going to be reviewing and you will have to edit the category name. But other than that, all of these slides are already pre-linked. So you do not have to worry about going in and making sure that this square is linked to the correct question. It's already done for you. So let's say for example that this is um, one of the slides that I want to go through and that I do want to um, keep and use for later. So what I'm going to do, like I said, I already um, have been using Google Slides for the longest time, so I'm going to continue. I'm going to say use as Google Slides theme. Make sure that you are logged in to the correct um, Google account that you wanted to go to. So currently I'm, I'm logged into my work one. You'll see that over here, this little button. So I'm in my work one. So here it asks you, do you want to use this template? So I put use template. And what it's going to do is it's going to transfer this template into my Google Slides. Um, and from here, this is where I get to adjust all the, the slides that I need to adjust. I can change the name. Mind you, this is a template. So if you want to keep this template um, as a blank, that you want to reuse later on, you can always um, make a copy of it. So that way, you know, you have one template that is just that it's a template and then you make a copy and you can create your new one based on what, um, what game you want to play. Here you can edit the title, but everything is already pre-linked. So when I come here, if I click on 200, let me see if it shows there you go. It pops up to say it's already linked to slide number four. So again, all you have to do is go into the questions and rewrite the questions based on what you want to, um, what you want to use this Google Slides for. Okay. So again, this was Slides Carnival. So Slides Carnival does have a lot of slide slides that you can use if you're looking for a particular one that follows like a theme. So, you know, they have flowers, they have um, playful ones. So there's like a superhero themed one. There's some that are educational themed. Um, so this is Slides Carnival. 
I'm going to be moving to Slides Mania now. So this is Slides Mania and this one I just recently became aware of and they do have about um, 22 pages of different slides that you can use but some of the things that I got excited about was they have some slides that are already preset to be like um, a notebook so again it's a notebook but all of the slides are already pre-linked so you just have to go in there and change the name so if you're using let's say for example you want to use this digital notebook for your classroom um, and you have different units that you want to go into you can create this blank notebook and just change the tab names to fit your unit so let's say for example that you are in English and you have a tab for grammar, you have a tab for, for uh, fiction, a tab for persuasion, a tab for um, drama, and all you have to do is change the tab names, but they are already linked to their, their perspective notebook slides. Okay. Um, another feature from Slides Mania that I liked is not only do they have notebooks, but since we are going to be going virtual for the first three weeks, we do have uh, options for choice boards and games. So this is kind of cute. It's, it's a little file cabinet that you can do. Um, so this is good if you have um, like index cards, like if you wanted to give the kids index cards or vocabulary cards, this is probably a good uh, template to use. They do have this Find the Treasure interactive game. Um, they do have this digital board game that you can adjust based on what you want to play. So it could be a good, you know, just a little game. This is a challenge board. So this could also be used as a choice board. Here's another choice board template. Um, so what I like about this is that Again, everything is already pre-linked for you. All you have to do is you have to change the information within the link. So here, this challenge board, basically if you wanted to use it as um, a choice board, all you would have to go in there to do is change, um, is change the information that's here. So here you would have to change the information, but these are already pre-linked. So you don't have to worry about linking this, this first tab to this slide, okay? If you get stuck with Slides Mania, they do have helpful videos that will show you what each um, template has and how you can go in there and change it for yourself. So um, I will be going over Slides Mania and um, our Slides Carnival during our PD. Um, but I will record this this video so that way you can go back to it and if you have any questions just let me know um, let me go ahead and show you how to download let's say for example I want this template all I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the bottom and again it tells me do I want to download it as a PowerPoint or as a Google Slides so this one I'll download as a Google Slides Again, I'm making sure that I'm in the account that I wanted to go under. So I'm on my work account and it is going to show up as um, under my slides in my Google Drive. So here I use this template just like uh, Slides Carnival. And I can go ahead and use it as either... Um, this as a blank template and just make another copy if I'm if I'm changing it per unit or I can just edit this copy and make another one when I'm about to change it so if you have any questions about Google um, Google Slides Slide Carnival or Slides Mania let me know I'll be more than happy to help you and work with you um, thanks guys have a good day